Hey guys, so today I'm looking at uh, timing on a uh, 2005 Chevy Optra. Now, uh, to find the information on this timing, I had to look up this engine, and it's this engine right here, DTEC 16 valve, and uh, found out that these engines are also in Forenzas, uh, uh, Suzuki Forenzas, uh, Daewoo, uh, but if you look up information, you'll find those vehicles on this. I couldn't find nothing on an Optra. Um, I can't remember what other car it was. There's another car that's similar to the Opera, but Op Optra, but it's a different engine. Same type of engine, but anyway, on this one, on the 2005 Chev Optra, if you look there, I just used a, a vice grips to hold my uh, two sprockets in place. And the timing's pretty easy. To get the belt off, on this one I actually changed the water pump, that's why I was doing the timing, but if you look down there, there's the that pulley right there. If you take that off, it'll be real easy to work with. That's the one you gotta take off. Don't take off your tensioner down there, as, as if you could see it, it's right there, that's the tensioner down there. Don't take that one off, you don't need to. You just need to loosen it and get it to loosen up. And then how I did it was, if you look here, there's little notches, see that notch? And then you look at that notch on the, uh, right there. And then there's that notch there. Those are the notches that line up, the keys that you line up on the uh, sprockets. There's one there, and this one says exhaust on it. That's the one you wanna line up with the top of that notch, and those notches are in there. They look like little breaks in the plastic, but they're not. That one actually has a little arrow, if you look there. And I just lined up the two sprockets without the belt on. I didn't show you how to put the belt on. It's pretty simple, I'll explain it. But then held them in place with the vice grips. And then I went down here. I actually found a video on this, but on a Forenza, I believe it is. You come down here, there's a little notch in your, right there. You can see it in the bottom. And then a notch in the plastic. It's hard to see, it looks like a, if your thing's all oily like this, it looks like a break in the plastic, but it's not. It's actually a notch. You line up those two notches. And uh, <clears throat> it looks like that. And then you should be good to go with your timing. And then once you get going, I started the belt from the bottom here and then ran it up this way and kept it tight. And ran it up along that pulley and ran it up and got it into the teeth and got it kept it nice and tight on this side went this way went this way lined up the teeth again kept it tight went down and then didn't put that pulley in yet that one right there I didn't put that in I just ran the belt around the water pump and around the tensioner and around and got it in there and kept holding it right here while I was running it so that it wouldn't come off on this side because you want to keep this side tight at all times and keep everything lined up and then once you get it all in after getting it around the water pump the tensioner and around the crankshaft pulley um, then you could put this pulley in you just push this over this belt over put that pulley in tighten up the bolt a bit snug or you could tighten it tight and then once that's all loose and good to go or in there not technically not loose but if you look at that tensioner pulley, I have it loose right now, sorry for being so shaky, but I just take an Allen key. If I get it in there, oh, this is the wrong size. But anyway, you'd get the right size Allen key and turn it, turn this until it goes tight. And if you look on the other side of it, I'll try to get you a picture of it. Let me see if I can get down there. Where is that tensioner pulley? It's right there. If you look right in behind it, you could see where there's a little, let's see if I can get this there. That thing right there, that's a little silver key. When you turn that Allen key part to tighten it, that key will move up and go in line with that notch right there. There's a couple notches right there and you want it right in, I just put it right in between the notches. I'm not sure exactly how perfect 
depends on how tight you want your belt or if you want it loose I would rather I just line it up with that notch and then tighten your tensioner after if I can get in there but as you're turning how I did it was I just turned the allen key that allen key piece it's hard to see unless you have somebody up there looking for you. All I did was I turned this with the Allen key. I turned it, turned it, turned it until it was at the point where I needed it to be. Then I tightened the bolt and then you should be good to go. And then test fire it up. It'll fire up with, without anything on with just this belt on. As long as you have good battery power, make sure you have water in your engine. And go from there. If you have any questions, there is other videos on this. If you look hard enough, I had a I had to look quite a bit to find this video on this. Uh, it was actually un under a Forenza, I believe. And this is a Chevy Optra. But anyway, that's how it's done. Sorry for not doing a complete show of how I did it, but the explanation should be good enough. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.